Honourable Tierche. Thank you, Madam Speaker. EGov is the one department that should be leading the Gauteng government into the fifth industrial revolution. But here we are, still peddling in the infancy stage of the fourth industrial revolution. The Gauteng Department of EGov should have been working with municipalities to facilitate and coordinate the rollout of broadband across the province instead of waiting for all to do its own thing. Even on this side of the House, we must acknowledge that this department achieved 30 of its 33 KPIs, and that is commendable, but were those targets set to meet, or are they set to achieve the NDP 2030's ICT vision? Being ICT infrastructure by 2030 will underpin the development of a dynamic information society and knowledge economy that is more inclusive and prosperous. The medium-term objectives were also not met, and here I want to focus on the target to have 100% of broadband in all schools, health facilities, similar <laughs> institutions to be connected, and individual citizens, citizens have affordable access to information and services. The department must be assessed based on the NDP ob ob uh, objectives and not the easier departmental scorecard. Madam Speaker, we can safely say that each government is not on track to achieve the NDP 2030 ICT vision. Furthermore, EGOV was not successful in the 2015-2020 objectives and only achieved in one aspect, and that is the online registration for learner applications. In the digital space, EGOV is behind in rolling out broadband to the many communities that are still being excluded. And if COVID-19 taught us one thing, it should have been the importance of access and connectivity to bridge the growing divide between the haves and the have not. I'm afraid for this, even the other side can no longer bl blame the evil p past, but must accept accountability for learners being left behind. Over the past couple of months, the DA members of Community Safety visited most of the police stations in the province. None of them have access to internet, making the lives of the detectives to cross-reference in an uh, environment where connectivity is key in solving cases impossible. The importance of eGov to stimulate uh, the ICT economy through facilitating incubation and innovation while encouraging public-private partnership is undeniably an important objective. Failing to implement eGov as a tool to keep database for uh, job seekers, qualified artisans and young entrepreneurs in the province is invaluable at a time where the um, unemployment rate is above 43 per cent. Broadband network is the first step in a data-centric world whereby critical data that should be informing trends and that could prevent or at least inform us of another pandemic looming in the health system. Data that is often permanently lost as it appears in data centers and files and stuffies and CDs and words, words attacked, uh, stacked in misfiled cupboards in the left in a corner in the clinic, clinic where patient information is now permanently lost and all because ego failed to digitize the health system. Madam Speaker, I want to plead to the MEC uh, Kumalu that while we commend the 33, uh, 30 out of 33 uh, KPIs being met, where space and innovation are critical, the department should be chasing on the expansion of innovative thinkers that can bridge the digital divide and not audit outcomes. But connectivity, information technology, things that matters and that will bridge the digital divide. I thank you.